Okay, here's the story. Today's a double up lecture. Uh, we'll have a lecture until around 12, a five minute break, and then uh, continue on with the second lecture until 1. And the same will hold true for Thursday. Uh, we'll have lectures 11 and 12. Then the following week, there will be no lectures. On Thursday, uh, two days from now, I'll hand out homework set five and the solutions to homework set three. Homework set five will be due the Tuesday following the dead week. That is, no classes next week. We'll call that the dead week. The first dead week. And uh, then we'll have the first lecture on channel capacity on Tuesday at which time uh, homework set five will be due. And uh, then Thursday will be February the 10th of week after next. We'll have the midterm then. Midterms, open book, open notes, open computer, everything. Um, Last time, we showed that the probability distribution on the states for a Markov chain converges to the stationary distribution monotonically, showing the naturalness of relative entropy. Uh, we showed it uh, decreases monotonically. We didn't show it goes to zero. That's true for irreducible Markov chains. So I won't prove it actually goes to zero. Uh, and then we looked at chapter six on optimal gambling. And uh, we showed that if we have a horse race with probability distribution P on the horses winning, P sub I, the probability horse I wins, uh, that the optimal gambling scheme ignores the odds as long as you have to place all of your money on the horses. And so B star is equal to P. This is called Kelly gambling. Bet in proportion to the probabilities of the horses winning. That way you will make money at the highest possible rate. We showed that the wealth grows like 2 to the n w star, where w uh, star is the max expected value of log of s of x overall gambling schemes B, which is explicitly the max over B of summation P of X log the amount bet on horse X times the odds returned on horse X, O of X. And as I mentioned, when you maximize this, you get uh, B equals P. And we showed also that H plus W star is log M. Again, we need qualifiers here. That's when the odds are uniform fair odds. So the doubling rate plus the entropy rate equals the log of the number of alternatives, the number of horses. So it's a nice conservation law. By the way, why do we do gambling here? Well, you'll see as we go through, but basically it goes like this. Here's gambling. 
and it goes in two directions. One is data compression. We will show that for every bit you can save gambling, you can compress the data by a bit. So there's a direct relationship with prediction, which is B star equals P, and uh, data compression. And the other is the generalization from horse races to the stock market, and that would be portfolio theory. And I think that's chapter 15 of the text which you get to in the second quarter. And uh, it leads to some very nice results, including a proof of the AEP for ergodic processes. Today, uh, for the lecture nine part, we'll be uh, we'll look at the wrong distribution, whatever that means. Uh, we will uh, look at side information, the value of side information in gambling. And we'll look at uh, entropy of English as an application of a gambling theory. You can estimate the entropy of English and get a good lower bound on the, a uh, good upper bound on the entropy. <clears throat> and then for the Ten part, and we may overlap just a little when we. Uh, we'll look at um, competitive optimality. And uh, then we'll look at, we'll begin chapter six on codes. And. Uh, the craft inequality. And we'll show that the entropy is a lower bound on the expected description length, the expected code word length. And uh, maybe we'll get into Huffman coding. Then next time we'll finish chapter six. All right. Okay, let's do some gambling. X is according to P of X, and X takes values in the set 1, 2, to M. These are the horses. Or the outcomes. This is the probability of the horses. P of X is non negative and sums to one. And we have bets B of X on the horses. And we have, so this is gambler bets. And uh, the B of X are non negative and sum to one. You take your dollar and divide it into proportions B of X. And uh, let's say the odds. 
are O of X. And here I'm going to say O of X equals 1 over R of X. are fair odds with respect to probability mass function PMF R of X. So here I'm just going to specialize the odds. We already know that the odds don't influence the amount we bet on the horses. So um, it's, it's still instructive to specialize the odds to make them fair odds with respect to the odds makers view of what the true probability distribution is. So R of X is non-negative and summation of R of X equals 1. Now why are these fair odds with respect to it? Well if we put a dollar down on horse X, then the expected return is the probability horse X wins, let's say it's R of X, times the odds, 1 over R of X, summed ooh, wait a minute, ah, we put all our money on horse X, so the expected return is R of X over R of X, which is 1. Right. So if you have a coin that comes up heads one-fourth of the time, tails three-fourths of the time, the correct odds to be offered there are 4 for 1 on heads, and uh, four thirds for one on tails. If you bet on heads, you win a fourth of the time, you get four for one odds, you get your dollar back. If you bet on tails, blah, blah, you get your dollars back, your dollar back. So, We get S of X equals the amount bet on horse X times O of X. And that occurs with probability P of X. So you're exchanging your dollar for another random variable called S, which equals B O with probability P for the, with the right X. Again. Now, <clears throat> since if you keep reinvesting your money, you get the product of these random variables, we use the law of large numbers for products and realize that what you should maximize to have the highest growth rate of this product, the probability one growth rate of the product, is uh, to maximize the geometric mean, or in the exponent, maximize the expected value of log s. So, w of b p gambler and the true distribution is expected value of log s of x which is equal to summation p log uh, b of x o of x 
Now I'm going to make the substitution that O of X is 1 over R of X, realizing